I look up and I see my boyfriend Austin that's supposed to be in Ohio just walking across the dance floor. Austin's been saving up money to come here, but it's a total surprise to see him here. When can we go? This isn't my scene. I know, I know. Well, let's go. I want to go home with you. Of course, I love Kaylee and want to be here and celebrate her birthday, but relationships are all about compromising. If Austin wants to go home, I got to respect that. He traveled a long distance to be here. I'm taking her home. What the f It's my birthday, and Tiffany just left with Austin. Tiffany, stop! She didn't even say goodbye. If you're my best friend, you'd stay here with me! Hey! Hey, babe. What did you do today? Made some video games. Have you started looking for work, or? I've been looking. Okay. It's not like I haven't been looking. Just been chilling out today. I was really hoping time away would have changed things, but clearly I was wrong. It's the same old Austin on the same old couch. You can't even like pick this shit up. Like, what the I, that? I planned on it. It was in the pantry. I don't know what it is. Can you help me at least instead of playing your game? You can play that anytime, anywhere. Oh my God. Austin, if you spend as much time looking for a job as much as you play these video games, you would have like 10 jobs by now. Why are you so pissed off? It's just I'm frustrated. With what? That I came home from work and you can't even clean the damn, like you can't even do the dishes. Food's in the refrigerator. The mess I was gonna clean up later. Why are you on my case? If you're just gonna sit home all day, the least you could do is clean up. We're gonna have a life together and wanna grow. That means you're gonna have to start pulling your weight. I don't wanna build a life with someone that sounds exactly like my mother. I can't live like this forever. And I don't know what I'm going to do if things don't change. You have to deal with this sooner or later, dude. I don't have to deal with the yeah, nagging. Yeah, you do. I really don't. Yeah, you do. I, and it's really pointless. I need to get some space away from your ass. Yeah, go ahead, walk away. Yeah, clean the house, bitch. I always do, so what's the surprise? You. Hello? Hey, babe. What's up? I've thought about it a lot, and the only way that Austin's going to change is if I show him how serious I really am. What's wrong? Um. You know how we had that talk about, you know, looking for a job and stuff? And if you didn't get a job here soon, you'd have to go home. Yeah. Go. Going home. Why? Because you haven't found a job. But it hasn't even been... I gotta do what I gotta do, and... You know, I did tell you, you have to get a job here to help me with the house. Since you, you know, you came down here and you wanted to stay. Yeah. And I know, unfortunately, you left your job back at home to come here to follow me, which I loved, but you, know, you needed to get something down here. So here's your plane ticket. Today? Yeah. No, f that. Keep your What do you mean, that? Just sit down and talk. I don't really want to. Austin, just sit down and talk. I don't really want to.
Austin. No, that's complete bull. I well, how is that bull after no, I told you? Up now. Okay. But I told you if you didn't find a job, you would have to go. All right, I'm going. What's your point? So it's not bull. It it's not. It's for the moment, bull. What, you think I'm happy about this? I just don't want to talk to you. That's how I feel. I'm just trying to do what's best for the both of us. And I think that's just him going home right now to try to figure out his I ain't talking to you. I don't want us to be over for good. I just want him to realize that he needs to grow up and be more responsible. I want him to change. I just didn't realize this was going to be that hard. Babe. Babe, stop. Austin. What? Well, I told you that. That's Today? <laughs> With no notice? The Uber's right here. Okay. What, the Jeep? Yeah. The Uber's right here. What, so I'm going now? Yeah. Well, give me the glass. I can't. Can I have a hug and a kiss? Hug me on FaceTime. and this distance will help us for the future. Cause I see a future with him and I want him in my life. Will you stand? It sucks and it's heartbreaking. That's all I can really say. It really sucks. if you would do me the honor and be my wife. <sighs> Wait, is this super real? Yeah. No, like seriously, is this for real? Yeah. Coming home tonight, the last thing I expected was Austin standing in my living room. He's supposed to be in Ohio. Now he's on one knee proposing to me? I, I can hardly think right now. What do you say? I, I love everything you did here. It's just, I don't know what to say right now. What do you, what, do you want to wait I, or this what? This is a lot right now that I just walked into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was a lot. Well then what? Be honest with me. It's just too soon. That's fine. Just, it looks so good. And I want to, I do, but we're young. Yeah. It breaks my heart saying no to Austin, but my gut is telling me not right now. You know, so we'll just take it slow. Sound good? Yeah. All right, I love you. Love you. Tiffany? Yes. I'm Deanne. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. You must be Austin. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. I'm Deanne. All right. You guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. All right. Come on back. 
It will be really interesting to see how Christian couples counseling goes today. Austin was hesitant to come, but I'm glad he came around. Okay, so what made somebody pick up the phone and say, I want to go see somebody? Well, um, we talked to my parents, and my mom was actually the one who was like, well, what about, you know, just counseling? I grew up in Christian and the God and, you know, the spirits and all that. So. The God and the spirits? <laughs> <laughs> the God, God, whatever. Listen, I've never been to therapy. I'm nervous. Austin, how do you feel about being here? I didn't want to come. <laughs> Okay. I wouldn't take the time out of my day to come here and talk to you. Come on. What? We're being honest. Really, Austin? I know you didn't want to come, but could you please not act like a five-year-old? What are we looking for out of this relationship? What are you guys looking? I would like it to last a lifetime, you know what I mean? Like, I could see myself spending my life with her. Okay. What do you want out of it, Tiffany? Well, I do want to, you know, eventually get married, but when the time is right and when we both are ready, I just want us to be able to understand each other more, talk instead of yelling. I mean, I'm pretty good at hurting his feelings. Okay, how's that working for you to have the woman you love hurt your feelings? It makes me want to hurt her feelings. So retaliation? Austin's and I's biggest problem we have is when we get mad, we'll say the meanest things. That's got to stop that's poison in your relationship. Do you have things that he's ever said to you that still sting? Bitch. That's strictly me calling you names. No, I do call you pretty <laughs> bad names. Okay, well, that's not the foundation that we're wanting to build. I want you to look at these words. I want you to pick a feeling when he calls you a bad word. The fact that you can't say it's pretty telling to me. Is there a fear? I mean, I'm not scared to be alone or anything like that. I just fear that we will just constantly do this. I know you say you're not afraid to be alone. We haven't even talked about that, so I'm wondering if maybe well, other people I've had have people, projected that. Yes, I've had people ask me that. To me, it's bull because it's just, I love him and I'm trying to work things out. Some of these patterns that y'all have are toxic. There might be a chance that your friends see some of the patterns that don't work for you guys. You have to understand there's a little validity to what they're saying. She's right. Austin and I shouldn't call each other names. It's really toxic and verbally abusive. We can't hide our feelings and we can't hide our truth, but sometimes it's hard to say things in front of the partner and that's why I think it's super important that we do a little bit of individual work. Like, I'm here for the relationship, mm -hmm. but sometimes that means I might need to dig with you a little bit. Yeah. And Austin, I'm definitely gonna wanna have some one-on-one -on -one time with you, okay? Oh my God. That's why we're I here. don't, I don't know. You're a good talker, but no. This isn't something I would do. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. I really thought Austin was serious about fixing our relationship. But the way he's acting, is he really? Come away with me. Fly on hacks on eagle. How you doing? Hey. Hi. What's going on? Oh, nothing. How was your day? It was good. What's that? I know what it is, but why do you have it? Well, Kaylee and Daquan got engaged. Really? At Daquan's birthday. How do you feel about that? I've been doing a lot of thinking. You know, you've done so great. I'm happy that, you know, you're stepping up to the plate. Austin's tried so hard this year to prove to me how much he loves me. And I want to do the same for him. When he originally gave me the ring, I told him I wasn't ready. I was wondering if you would do me the honor and be my wife. Don't get worked up. It's just, I want to. I do, but it's just too soon. But now, I don't feel like that anymore. So what are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm ready to be engaged and wear it. 
what do you have anything to say? I don't want to get engaged right now. I just think you don't know what you want. Because at first you wanted me to get a job. So I did. Then I got a job and all of a sudden you don't want me to go to work. I'm very proud and I'm happy with the man you're becoming. Maybe you should act like it more. I've done a bunch of good things, but it never seems to be good enough for you. I've been thinking for months. And okay, as have I, and obviously we've been thinking differently. So why would you ask me in the first place? Because I wanted you. I felt like I would lose you if I didn't do something drastic. And if you I had wanted you. me, then why aren't you ready? I'm just not in a position in my life where I'm ready to do that. But I don't know, I think maybe you saying no was a blessing in disguise. Where does that leave us then? You think I can answer that? I'm so lost right now. Like, how could you do this to me? Well, I'm, t I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go to work. I hope Austin and I have a future together, but right now, I, I don't know. with Austin have been tense, and we haven't seen each other much. But I wanted to spend some time with him this afternoon before he went to work. Is this some sort of joke? You just can't write me a note and up and leave me. We've been together for four years. I know we had our bad times, but we also had our good times. But I really thought we would be able to work through it. I really miss you. I miss you more, though. I want to stay here permanently with you. Oh, yeah. I love you. I love you. Have you started looking for work? Just been chilling out today. If we're gonna have a life together, you're gonna have to start pulling your weight. I need to get some space away from your ass. When we get mad, we'll say the meanest things. That's gotta stop. That's poison in your relationship. I hardly see you, Oz. I'm not the bad guy. I got a job for you. What else do you want from me? Why are you getting an attitude? I'm gonna take this. I just don't get it. Six months ago, he asked me to marry him, and now he's gone. Like, where did you go? I didn't think he would leave. Hey, it's Austin. Leave a message. Austin, why did you, why did you leave? I'm not crying. Why did you pack your stuff and go? Just for <laughs> really great time with you all and I'm glad we were able to do a girls trip without fighting.
You know, these past few months have been tough for me, especially dealing with Austin and Emily. But you know what? It's time to show people that I'm ready to do me. I know what I want, and I'm going to stand on my own two feet.